the Indiana Rental Agreement. In this video, we will tell you about the most noteworthy aspects of rental agreements in the state of Indiana. What is a rental agreement? A rental agreement or a lease is a document that outlines the arrangement between two parties regarding a property rental. The one who's paying rent is called a tenant, while the owner of the property who lets the other party use it under certain conditions is called a landlord. The parties may also be called a lesser and lessee. Typically, a rental agreement lasts for 6 or 12 months, with rent being paid every month or every week. There is one federal disclosure that works for all lease agreements in the United States. This is called the lead disclosure, and it requires the landlord to tell the tenant about all known lead paint hazards. They should also provide the state-approved version of the pamphlet, Protect Your Family from Lead in Your Home. However, this requirement applies to not all types of residential dwellings. Required Disclosures Apart from the above-mentioned disclosure, the state of Indiana requires the landlord to warn the tenant about a flood hazard in the apartment. It applies to dwellings where the lowest floor, including a basement, is at or below the 100-year frequency flood elevation as determined by the respective agency in Indiana. The tenant should also be acknowledged in writing that the rental unit is equipped with a functional smoke detector. One more thing a tenant should get beforehand is written information about the names and business addresses of the people who own and are authorized to manage the rental unit. Security Deposits In the Indiana Compiled Statutes, there is no such thing as a maximum security deposit, which means it is completely up to the landlord. The deposit should be returned to the tenant within 45 days after the surrender of the premises. If there is any damage caused to the dwelling, the landlord can use the deposit to pay unpaid rent and to repair any property damage caused by the tenant. To do so, they should mail to the tenant a list itemizing the amounts lawfully retained within 45 days after the tenant vacated the dwelling. If the landlord fails to return the security deposit, the tenant might get all of the security deposit plus reasonable attorney's fees. Landlord Access According to the Indiana Code, the landlord should give the tenant reasonable written or oral notice before entering the dwelling unit and do it only at reasonable times. Termination of Agreement To terminate a year-to-year -year tenancy, a written notice should be sent to the tenant in no less than three months before the expiration of the lease. To terminate a month-to-month -month tenancy, at least one month written notice should be sent to the tenant. Notice periods for non-payment and non-compliance. If the tenant fails to pay rent, the landlord should give them no less than 10 days after receipt of the written notice to either pay or vacate the premises. However, the Indiana Code does not specify the period for sending the notice if the tenant violates any other provisions of the lease.